Hi, my name is Jesper and today I'd like to talk to you about this beautiful edition with not just uh, one but two uh, classics by Dickens in it, A Tale of Two Cities and Great Expectations. I don't usually read a lot of uh, fiction but these books have been on my reading list for quite some time so this summer I thought I'd, I'd take the opportunity and, and uh, read them and I must say I'm not at all disappointed. Um, a Tale of Two Cities, the first of the two books in this, this cover, of course, is the uh, one of the few historic works of historical fiction of Dickens, which gets a lot of reference in the non-fiction I uh, usually read. And although I must say it's not as fact-based or as, as um, uh, educational as, for instance, Hilary Mantel's a, a, great, a Place of Greater Safety, it does get the feeling across of living under a reign of terror quite exceptionally well. Um, and I don't think given the current situation in the world, that is a bad thing to read. A uh, very daunting, almost scary book. The second book in this, uh, in this beautiful edition, uh, Great great Expectations, I, frankly speaking, expected uh, much less of. Uh, and it was mostly on my reading list because last year I met a Syrian refugee and when I asked him for his best book of all time, he, he mentioned Great Expectations and I thought that was quite a... Uh, uh, an eye-opener if Dickens is read. Dickens literally is read uh, around the world. So I put it on my reading list, started reading it, and it's brilliant. It's one of the best books I've, I've ever read. It has some of the most believable and, and multi-layered characters in it I've ever met in a book. And for somebody grown up in a, in a uh, Netflix world, or growing up in a Netflix world and mostly reading non-fiction, it's a surprisingly easy book to read. The plot just pulls you in every time and, and and I feel Dickens may actually be one of the best writers for the Netflix generation considering these two books. I'm very happy I finally read them, finally found the time to delve into these classics and they definitely made me hungry for some more of his great work.